Hey guys, Mr. Beeler again. We're going to get into a basic electrical diagram. Uh, our setup here is a battery, our conductors, our wires, and a light bulb. So three things again for a complete circuit. Power supply, which is our battery, our conductors, which is our wiring, and our load, which is our bulb. It's producing work for us. Our battery is 12 volts as we go through the wiring. So if we follow this, just kind of like tracing a road map, we're going to do a lot of stuff with wiring diagrams this session. We're going to follow the wire along, we're going to hit our light bulb. If everything's working properly, a light bulb lights up. If the light bulb lights up. You'll notice as we start out, we have 12 volts, we have 12 volts going along. So remember, this is like our pressure. We have 12 volts up to the bulb. Our pressure goes away. The light bulb uses those volts up. In a correctly functioning system, our load, when it's all done, there should be no volts left. So we have zero volts, we'll have close to zero volts returning on our ground side to negative. Now, in electrical and automotive stuff, they draw it a little bit different. They don't draw a ground wire for every component. They use this symbol as ground. So that's usually like a chassis ground or is grounded through the engine block, something that's a conductor in the vehicle. So it is grounded through probably the body. You'll notice up here our bulb, our load in the system has a resistance value. This little guy here, known as omega, represents ohms, so it's our resistance. So we have three ohms of resistance in that light bulb. Now if we go back to Ohm's law, and we talked in the last video, our volts equal amps times resistance. We know our volts are 12 volts, and we know our resistance of the bulb is three, it leaves us with blank for amperage. So we go to the basic math here, 12 equals what times three, or we can do division, 12 divided by three, is going to be four. We would have four amps of flow through our conductor. Uh, something about electricity, electricity is lazy. It always likes the path of least resistance. So if for some reason, let's say I attach a wire here and I run it directly to ground, there's very little resistance in that conductor going to ground. There's three ohms of resistance in that ball. Which way do you think it wants to go? It's going to go straight to ground. We have very, very low resistance. Our amperage goes sky high. That's when we have either a fire or if we have a circuit protection device, which we haven't talked about yet, we would have a fire. I have an accompanying video I'm going to show you guys what happens when we apply positive voltage directly to ground. Or if I were to lay a wire across the battery terminals, there's technically no load. The wire has now become a load. There's no resistance, so the amperage is go really high. We're going to burn that wire up. Uh, kind of like the ring video we showed earlier, that ring was our load in the circuit. There's not much resistance to it. It's going to get super, super hot. If I let that ring go, it would have melted eventually. So, the next section we're going to talk about circuit protection devices. And hopefully I can get that video loaded of the wire catching fire. I will see you guys next time.